Yo! What up, guys? I'm making this video because I feel like not a lot of people actually really know about- They know, obviously, when people see ads about AI coaching, they kind of just scroll past it. But I'm here today to tell you that maybe you should take a deeper look into that if you're serious about getting better. Um, let's just get right into it. So the AI is called Trophy AI, as you can see right here. And so once you install it off the internet, this is what it looks like. Um, you will be greeted at the home page, which has three separate categories. You have training paths, which are actually super unique, and we'll go through all of these as well. There's the training paths. You can go through all mechanics and AI game analysis, which in my opinion, at least for my purpose of using this AI is the most useful aspect of this AI um, game analysis. So um, we'll go over that last because that's honestly, it's really in depth. So spend a lot of time on that. Uh, but these two are extremely cool, like really, really, really cool. So when you go into training paths, there's all of these sections. There's four sections. There's aerial control, dribbles and shots, car control, and then kickoffs and defense. So going into aerial control, um, I just installed it on this computer, but I've completed this first one. Um, on my other laptop that I keep up at college, I'm currently home for the weekend. Um, besides that, anyways, so essentially you can click on this and it gives you instructions on what to do, but it also has really cool thing um, in game. In Fly through the air to hit the static ball to earn points and increase your score multiplier, avoiding land or wall contact while collecting power-ups and aiming to maintain aerial control. Good luck and feel free to ask any questions if you have them. Yeah, so it literally talks to you, like it's pretty cool. And so, Basically, you just go up and slide towards the ball while trying to stay in the air. This is just the first one. So, yeah, you just kind of focus on your aerial control. You can ask a question too, if you really want to. It's actually insanely cool. Just kind of maintaining that flight. Um, so you can see if you go to the ground, you'll lose that multiplier that you had. And so, sometimes those are going to be tricky ones like this, where you have to go really close to the ground. But it's really helpful for that star control. Just fly, even just flying around in free play like this can help you too, if you don't have this uh, AI installed. But it's literally just you just go to your website, and uh, it's super easy to do that. Um, everybody also keep in mind you're gonna have to uh, reload the game again if you want to do another drill so you can just quit and um, you'll notice once you get back to the main screen uh, it keeps track of your high score and so if we go back here uh, you can move on to the next activity or the next uh, training path I guess you could say so that's kind of how the training paths work. Um, moving on to all mechanics, they've got car control, aerial control, dribbles and shots, kickoffs and defense. So kind of a similar structure, except when we go into dribbles and shots, you can see they have you know, ground dribbles, front flicks, mostly flicks. And you can go over to the side here and they do have up to wall to air dribble. Uh, keep in mind, this is early alpha, so they don't have things like uh, breezy flicks or anything like that, but um, you know, they have things here, like you can do the AI coaching and then flicks game level one, and you can get your high score and launch training game. <clears throat> so it's all pretty cool stuff. And now on to the probably the most, in my opinion, the coolest thing ever, the AI game analysis. So once you click on it, um, you'll be brought up with this. Make sure when you have this open and you actually want to do a replay analysis, you have auto save on and make sure uh you put the replay folder path in here uh just so you know demos epic if you're playing on epic demos epic is the folder um that you're gonna want to use for that so 
yeah anyways back to analysis we can launch and what it'll do it'll bring up basically on the internet their website um so these things might not be updated to what yours is so i'm going to update it so it's setting it to my username you can check the stats of your teammates and opponents as well and select your rank right now i'm diamond two i kind of went down a lot so hope you don't need to talk about that though right here you can select your match um they're having issues getting the most recent replays i've noticed like this is from four days ago and i've played a ton of games since then so i don't really know what's going on there um but we'll just look at this for an example so this is basically the main page it's got a ton of useful useful information on here the most useful obviously being the overview report which tells you what you're doing good at and also what you need to do to improve um, you can see right here there's a game highlights bar chart which shows your goals shots saves and assists compared to the average rank or the average player at your rank and so if you go over here as well you can see you know the blue is you or in this case me and the yellow is the average rank so i have a lot more shots than the average rank a little more goals and i'm doing a little below average in saves and assists at least according to this game that i played here um there's a team overview this i don't really look at that much this can be nice to look at um, it shows you your goals in comparison to your team and that middle line is showing kind of what your team did better than the, op the opponent's team this is actually a really cool one so player stats comparison this is me obviously it goes you know you and then the, your teammate and then your two opponents as well um so you can switch this up so you can get goals i had the most goals this game Assists, I had none this game. Saves, I had one save this game. And shots, I had seven. So I had above. So yeah, you can basically see what each player did the best in. Another radar chart here showing, but this time for speed. And I'm basically going, I'm basically completely matched up with the average person at my rank. And then compare any stat. This is literally, literally anything. So it has a ton of stuff. Like literally reversing near the are you near the net um apparently the average is nothing for that this is moving away from any teammate apparently i moved away the most um you can do goals you can do far from ball you can do uh, most ahead and so you can cut you can basically compare any stats you want um and if you really feel like it you can choose like any rank like let's say i wanted to be bronze one the average of bronze one they're obviously it's really a lot lower than diamond but um you can even see how you do how well you compare to a gc and so you can see they're more um well-rounded with having more assists and more saves and a decent amount of shot and goals um, as well and even if you wanted to just ssl so they're just a lot more well-rounded at the average player level. Um, so yeah, there's also these side categories which go into specifics like positioning, which have lots of graphs and things that make me confused. So I just like looking at the overview because it tells me kind of how I'm doing compared to everyone else. But if you want to get into the specifics, um, yeah, you can look at all that. So defense is something I'm really trying to work on. As you can see, I am needed a lot left back post, right back post, but I'm not there most of the time. So, um, or I don't even know what needed at last up post. Anyways, yeah, so maybe I would look at the overview and then go to defense and uh, look at that. So, yeah, this is honestly an amazing tool for anybody to use, no matter what rank you are to improve. And so I highly recommend people use this because it is free, completely free. You can just download it and start using it, which is awesome. It has 
insane potential to help you grow as a player as long as you take advantage of it of course as with anything uh, i'll leave a link to the website where you can download it in the description so you guys can go check it out but yeah this is it honestly when i first looked at it is mind-blowing i did not think it would actually be this good but it is actually really good so yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe this video convinced you to maybe actually give it a shot and uh use it to help you get better at your game and uh yeah peace out